guys, welcome back to my channel, Life with Shelly. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. In today's video, I will be talking, why are people toxic? Or what to do if people are toxic? Um, well, there's a story that I had last night that, I don't know, was just stupid. Um, like my sister called me and then she asked me a stupid question and she's like, were you sleeping or taking a nap? I'm like, no. And then all of a sudden she says something to me about my brother. Oh, my, like, she was saying to me, oh, our brother likes to lie and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. I'm like, everyone likes to lie or someone, a lot of people lie. And then she was like, she was like, no, not me. And like in my head, I'm like, oh, so you think you're a perfect person? No one is. And then she said, I don't know if you guys seen my videos or what, but um, family, friend, coworker last week, he was 70 years old and he died from a stroke. Um, my friend Steve, and he was a really friendly, good person and very um, friendly, kind, uh, respectful, hard worker. He was always nice and kind to anyone that he he meets because he used to work at the grocery store. He'd greet the customers, always be so helpful and everything. And he was funny. He would always put a smile on my face. And I would always laugh at his jokes. And for some reason, my sister says... I'm like, I miss Steve. And then she says to me, oh, I think he was annoying. I'm like, what? I'm like, to my sister, I'm like, he's dead. And she's like, well, I still thought he was annoying. I really didn't know him. I'm like, even if you didn't know him, you don't say that to a person that is gone. Especially not to me. Because he was really nice to me. And even when he saw me walking in from work to home, halfway, he even asked me if I would, because it was a long walk. It was a 20, 20, 20 to 25 minute walk. And he asked me politely if I wanted to ride home. And I said yes. And he was really nice. And he was a really polite person. He was never mean or anything. He had a really great personality. And he was very sweet and I think I was hurt and then my sister says are you mad and then later on she hangs up on me and I'm like you know what why did you even bother calling me if you're gonna hang up on me that's what I didn't like and I feel like my sister is a very toxic person she's mean and rude and she never cares that she never cares about my feelings never and I feel like the new year since it's coming up I feel like I want to erase or delete or get rid of and not talk to or cut ties to, which is my sister. I never want to talk to her ever again, ever since she said that to me. Why should I? And she never cares about my feelings. She only cares about herself. And then I'm like, I'm not really excited about Christmas. And she said, oh, I am. I get presents. And I'm like, okay, who cares about presents? I love giving presents out a lot more now. Since I was a kid, I used to love give, giving presents, but now I love, love giving presents to people because I love their smile. I like to see their smiling face. And I also love giving presents out to other people because I like to see them smile and be happy. I could care less about giving presents. Everything is not about, all about presents. I love giving presents to people because I love that. I love seeing their bright smiles and happiness and their being happy and joyful and, and stuff like that. I love seeing that on people. <sighs> but I don't know why people are so toxic. I think sometimes... 
I think people are just toxic because they're going through a lot of different stuff in their life. So people from that, maybe I'm thinking if they're having problems in their life or they're not happy with their life, um, they want everyone to be miserable just like them. And I feel like it's so stupid. Why do you need to put your misery on someone else? And I know my sister may not know him that well, but she should, she should still have the courtesy of the feelings that I would have if she said something mean to me about him. Because I knew him from work. He was a coworker. He was a friend. I would say he was a family member, kind of, because my whole family knew him. And my dad knew him a lot longer than I did. Steve was my dad's friend. I think they go way back, maybe in high school even. Maybe, I'm not sure, but my dad's in, my dad did say that he knew Steve a very, 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 very long time. And I'm just hurt that she said that Steve was annoying because he's gone and that she didn't have whatsoever. She did not have any feelings of how I would feel. She didn't care how I felt. She just said what she said and I felt like that was very hurtful. I was angry. I was upset. I just couldn't see how could you say that about somebody. I knew him because I worked with him. He was a coworker of mine that I worked with I think probably for nine years at the grocery store that I used to work at and he was a co-worker my older brother knew him too he was a hard worker and he was really nice he always put a smile on my face he would always make me laugh even when I was down about stuff he would always make me happy I felt like he was a very caring helpful sweet nice kind beautiful soul and a beautiful person inside and out, no matter what other people say about him. He was never annoying to me at all. It just hurt me that my sister would say that about him. And, I mean, she called me and then later on, she just wanted to get into a big, it's like she made her own problem. She was playing the victim and then she hangs up on me. I'm like, who does that? You call somebody and then you hang up on them? It's so rude and mean. And since next month is a new year, I'm going to start out all fresh and new. And I'm going to do something that I feel like I have to do. I really don't want to, but I think it's time. I think I don't want to talk to my sister ever again. After what she said about Steve, why should I take that kind of crap? I shouldn't. I have enough stuff going on in my life. I don't need negative people in my life to put me down and feeling like I'm I'm a piece of garbage or anything like that. And I'm not. I don't care what my sister said about Steve. He was an awesome person. It just hurts me that she would say something like that. But I really don't care. I blocked her from Facebook. I blocked her from TikTok. I blocked her from my phone, I deleted her contact number out of my phone, and everything. I'm not going to have anything to do with my sister anymore. After she said something about Steve, he was a good person. Even I know that. If she doesn't know and she thinks that he's annoying, fine. But God hears and sees everything. So God knows what she said. I mean, it's like... It's like she was mean and rude that she had she had no business to say that about him. And this is why I have severe anxiety. I need to stay away from negative people because negative people will put you down. They're not going to make you feel happy about yourself. They want to put you down, make you feel like them. And I'm done feeling that way. I'm done being treated like that. I've been treated from my mom and my sister. They never treated me nice. They never treated me good. They always had something 
So I'm going to say to put me down, to make me feel like that.